Okay, this is a Pacific Reed, please, for Anna, Anna. Don't carry other people's stress. I think you let him in and you started carrying his stress and then it was too intense and he went back. Some of them are a little bit behind. I don't have an answer for you if he is your DM or not. Sometimes we just come in and we teach each other lessons. We all have been set free. If you're a divine feminine, you can do whatever you want. You pass all your tests. You, by all means, do not, repeat, do not have to sit around and wait for your DM to catch up. You could have more than one soulmate, more than one soulmate tie, depending how advanced you are. Some of them, if I don't want to call them a lower vibrational, but, you know, they're still doing their karmatic patterns. They're still paying back their, their debt. So, because it's not your problem to be fixing those patterns once it's time to come into a divine union. So that's why we always say just let go, look in the future, just plan in the future. And then eventually the laws of attraction, you already went through your door. He'll eventually catch up if he's supposed to be with you or not. But there's someone, something serious. I feel like something serious is supposed to happen for you and you're, I don't want to say you're focused or caught up in the past, but like I want to like look you in the eyes and talk to you very seriously for some reason. Something about focusing. You're not focusing on something that's trying to come through for you. sensitive to be having all these people come in and out of your life like ping pong balls not just your divine family but also other people in your life you're too nice you need to break free from that you need to they keep saying ground yourself focus in the future when people come in it's okay to tell them no that's a very hard lesson to learn especially when you're a libra you're busy you don't have time direct them to go to counseling, you know, is a very, and of course they might get mad at you, and friends, when friends get mad at you, they're, you, you normally fight with a friend from anywhere from three to six months, and then they come back in your life, so don't worry about that. It's okay to focus on yourself sometimes. Just try not to start a fight with somebody. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay, sweetie. In a very high-pitched voice. He said, focus on the summer, what makes you happy in the summer. Do what I do, they're saying. Um, break up your life, like, so you have stuff to look forward to. So if you like salads... Like I put my salads in my, my summer menu because I live where it's cold. So I have something to look forward to in the, in the summer. Inner child, inspiration, moderation. to be dealing with all these problems that are coming your way. Yeah, sometimes you fight with your siblings. Sometimes I get so mad at my brother. We don't talk for three years sometimes. 
inner child, the fairy of playfulness, reminds you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay, stay safe. So that could be roller skating, going bowling keeps coming up. Um, it doesn't matter if you don't know how to do it or not. You just go and do it for the fun. Funness. Is that even a word? I don't know. Um, what else is there? I don't know what's open or closed. Um, there's paintball arenas. Um, I know once a year people do that paintball thing. I, I don't know what it's called because I never did it. Um, laser tag, go-kart riding. I don't know if you, how old you are, but you could babysit and take your nieces and nephews out to um, like a, a jumper, jumbling. Sometimes just watching kids. That's what I like to do. It makes you happy. Inspiration. Be prepared as you soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any, at any time. That's why we tell you to pay attention to your surroundings. There's a message trying to come through about something that you need to be focusing on. You like flowers? You could start trying to draw anything. Maybe think about something that you wanted to do as a child. If you like painting or drawing, you know, you could go take a class on that. And they're pretty cheap. <clears throat> Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthy. Although the fairy says that it's a little bit of what you fancy is fine. So, if you like fast food, cut it down to like eating it once a week. Okay, you can't, if you're trying to diet and it's not working for you, you can't cut everything out at once because even food is an addiction, just like uh, cigarettes or smoking or drinking, whatever. So you have to slowly cut it out. So, um, say you're eating everything, you can't quit everything all at once. You gotta take one thing away at a time, okay? And then eat the fast food maybe once, like Friday as a treat. You're gonna treat yourself for not eating it all week, then you eat it on Fridays. I moved, um, especially when you get older, because it's very hard to lose weight as you get older. So, like I tell my kids, I said, they're bugging me for ice cream. I said, no, it's not summertime. We, we get ice cream in the summer. Um, everybody is different. You know, some people can eat butter and it helps their digestive system and helps them go to the bathroom. Some people cannot eat butter because it makes them gain weight. So you have to figure out, you have to balance yourself. Something about balance. Um, same with chips, switch over. If you have a habit of eating late or before bed, switch over to the baked chips at night and then just eat the regular chips on a Saturday or only eat them at a party, okay? Shine from within. Your surroundings are draining your energy. Looks are only skin deep. Be True beauty shines from within, and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. So, it's, you know, especially... You know, you're a female, your body is always going to be changing. And the sooner you realize that you're not a teenager anymore, you know, it's going to change in your late 20s and it's going to change in your late 30s and then you're going to be a, mid, a middle-aged woman, okay? So your body is always going to be changing. The key is to always, you have to find a brand that fits you. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answers to your questions. So just like I said in the beginning, you need to ground yourself. There's something, something you're struggling with, something. You're letting way too many people in your energy. I know that for sure. Always trust in the purity of your heart. I think you knew from the beginning that it wasn't going to work anywhere, but you felt something with him and he walked away because he's still dealing with karmic patterns. That's not your problem to deal with that. Look inside your heart and with in it, you will find the answers to your questions. So that is the meditating. You want to meditate at least 20 minutes a day right before you go to bed. Just put on meditating music and whatever, it's going to be a lot at first and you need to mentally 
start separating everything. So say 10 things, say in your first round of meditating, 10 things pop into your mind. So you need to write those 10 things down, get them all out of your chest, and then the next night, focus on one of those things. And until the answer comes, then you need to keep focusing on that one thing every single night until the answer comes, okay? That's considered praying. And just say a couple prayers for a couple people. Like the people that keep coming in your energy, just tell them, I don't know what religion you are. But, you know, that's why people always say, oh, I'll pray for you. Because they need to heal themselves. They need to find the answers within. Something in threes. Something keeps happening to you in threes. that's a good thing because if things keep happening all the time then you would never get a break so once you know three three like three bad things happen then three good things are going to happen beauty again came up pray to venus she's going to be uh tomorrow passing jupiter so that'd be a good time to pray in the new moon energy okay new moon aquarius Ooh, big spirit that keeps coming up for libra that means something you're going to get a, a wish something about abundance a wish is going to be coming true okay so to take all of them Use your mind wisely. Also means abundance. Something's going to happen. Something's being reset. The number 10. Squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. So if one of these animals jump out to you, and you need to look up the spiritual meaning of brown bear spirit. Take time out. Just like we were saying. Focus on yourself right now. Dolphin spirit. Venus. This and that are true. Huh. Be spirits. Sweet results await. There's something personal that you need to be focusing on right now. Dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. Focusing on yourself. Clear out the clutter. It's always good time to start spring cleaning. This is when you dust your house so that when you open up your windows, come springtime, you don't have all the, the dust bunnies flying around. Hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Groundhog spirit. Time to let go. Coyote spirit. Because what did Venus say? This and that are true. So let it go. Trust in divine detours. Like I said, that uh, law of attractions. So you're on a detour right now. Okay, clear your mind, please. Go somewhere quiet so you can focus. Put your headset in or on, whatever. I'm hearing dearie, dearie, dearie. Oh, dearie. A little chuckle. Yeah, things were different back then. Women listened to each other. We didn't just so you had somewhere to vent. And then you would give advice if you had advice. We didn't have advice. You wouldn't say anything. You wouldn't give your opinion. People are so opinionated in the future. There is a fire sign coming in. Capricorn was lying to you. This next sign is just for you to help you get over any everything. Stop looking at everything as serious, like you're supposed to be serious with them. So stop worrying about that. You're 
too young to be serious. Just be committed. Focus on yourself. That doesn't mean you're selfish. Okay, here's a new passionate beginning. Okay, use your intuition. Something about your intuition. Moving forward. was the truth and it made you mad and it is the truth something about feelings the offer it's been put to death this person from your past time to walk to your happiness what makes you happy because the wheel is turning on this last connection you need to turn your back and take it somewhere else. Stop worrying over it. It's time to have fun with your friends and family. Love, self-love for yourself, see? Be strong. This is a single lady card. Be abundant in what you have. Focus on, so you can take a leap of faith. Away, see, away from Capricorn. You're going back to yourself. And that's what's causing you this tower. So you need movement. He was lying. He was lying about the commitment and love. He was lying to you. He lied. Oh my gosh. Jeez, oh man. Boy, he really, uh, he lied to you and said he wanted a relationship and stability with you. And lied about feelings. And a commitment. That's real nice. And you found out the truth about something. And that's what put you up in this being up all night. So... Especially at your age, they're always lying because they're never. I don't want to hurt your. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, you never know. You never know if they're playing or if their feelings are true or not. And then when they get older, they start holding back because they don't want to hurt their feelings again. It, men are. When it comes to feelings like that, it, you never know. The true ones will make all these gestures and they won't let you break up with them they will be calling you persistently every single day trust me some of them are attention seeking but you'll know all right capricorn's not on the board here he's at the bottom of the pile you already dealt with that you're being forced to go back to yourself but you're blocking this manifestation that's trying to come in you're still burdened. You're burdened over having to go back to yourself for some reason. They're working on the change, okay? So that's why you have to be patient. You need to work on yourself. You're being torn too many ways. You're going this way and that way. Capricorn was coming back and forth. So you need to use your intuition to move forward so you can look into the future for this new passionate beginning towards yourself. So stop holding back this gift that's trying to come in for you. Something about yourself is trying to come through. Something about your inner childhood. If you're holding back, 
because you're still upset and burdened over what he did to you but so focus on yourself turn your energy yes just like that away from him put every everything you're trying to get him give him put it back in yourself find something oh yeah it's a major headache goodness gracious they can't finish rising you when you're holding on to other stuff and other people so let them come to you that's how you do that let go let him fall he's not going to make it you two are going in two different directions and that's what's causing this burden on you If you're going for an associate's degree, then yeah, you want to know what you want to do, but not even because when you first start off at school, they even at a, a community college, you start off taking the same classes as everybody else. And that's the whole point of that. You take all these generic classes, like pre-classes to get an idea of what you want to study in college. So your first semester or first year, you're going to be taking the same classes as everybody else. Then you decide if you want to do the associate's degree which would probably be your best bet. Then you get a job and then you take night classes when you get older. Night classes are designed for people who are working. If you need money, you know, then you need to do something. You need to get your associate's degree. If you're thinking about school, then yes, do it. You can go tour schools, all that stuff is free. So the brochures, all that stuff, just have them send you, get an idea. Like I said, everybody takes a free class. So. Yeah, you think you're going back to the past, focusing on yourself, but you're not because here's the Empress card. But you're blocking it because of this burden. You had to set yourself free. Surprise, the bird isn't here. Who do we get? Oh, yeah, the dolphin. Okay, yeah, you're stuck in some kind of illusion about yourself. It's okay to not know what you want to do. Lots of kids, young adults, don't know what they want to do. I didn't know what I wanted to do until the end. And all my classes just magically fell into the HR. I started off a community. It was the best thing ever. And slowly got my master's degree. And slowly got my master's degree. That's how, I mean, I was in school forever. And I still study. If you like to study, it never stops. It never, ever stops. You'll always be reading or researching. All right. Let's see here. Oh, here's the burden again. Wow, just because you miss college out of high school, that doesn't mean anything. child young and um, so of course everybody wants to blame me like everything's my fault you know it's gosh forbid you got to blame somebody but when my son he didn't go to college and the, you know this is what I told everybody I said you know what your senior year in high school everybody is an adult you're 18 years old so you have the right as a young adult to make up your mind if you want to go to college or anything or not. That is your choice, not your parents' choice. Well, they can still pay for your community college. Sometimes college isn't good for our kids. It, you, some of them can't deal with the separation. High priestess. about the unknown. Wow. Hey, you're being for 
forced into this new beginning for yourself right now. Now you're thinking about stability. Well, that's a good thing. Healing. Healing takes time. You're being birthed into who you are. You're being rebirthed. The world card. Page of Swords. You're not the only person getting through this. Page of Swords, please. Magician in reverse. Yeah, you're worried about being independent for some reason. Empress, please. Yeah, you're being rebirthed. There's the death card. Ten of staffs. World card. Yeah, you're in at your completion here. Temperance. Something about sinning. Nine of coins. Four of swords. Six of rods, please. All right, yeah, you're refusing to walk away from the Capricorn. Eight of coins, please. love back into yourself like I said the the empress again yes queen of swords on the bottom is you there's the empress all right you need to put this love back into yourself we already said that you need to quit and walk away from this stupid Capricorn Ugh. temperance Gabrielle cannot do this. This new person that's going to come in, this fire sign they said at the beginning, cannot come in until you let go, you release this, this knight of coins. See, it wasn't going anywhere. He lied to you because he wanted you, but it wasn't going anywhere. So you're being rebirthed back into yourself. What, your stability, what makes you happy? What do you want? Okay. What do you need? Put your needs and your wants, you know, separate them. Okay, that is your stability right now because you're young. Okay, so there's no reason to worry about this. That's you, your wish fulfillment, your wants. What do you want? What do you need? Okay, you're letting it worry you. So like I said, right before bed, you need to focus on that thing one at a time. There is a new person coming in. Here's the fire sign. But he, him too, he's only coming in as a page because that's, you know, you're young. So you got to deal with that. So don't fully give everything to somebody else. Give it to yourself. You know, and that's the good thing about school. You'll be busy. Like, while I'm busy studying, I'm only free for a few hours on Saturday because I need to sleep. You can't be up all night. So you need to complete. The cycles have all been completed. And you're just, you're only, you're worried about the unknown, which everybody goes through that. So this new moon energy coming in with Venus and Jupiter, get everything written down, your needs and your wants, so that this rebirth for yourself can happen, okay? You're gathering more information on yourself. That's your homework right now. So this completion can stop and the new you can be rebirthed. And it doesn't matter if stuff doesn't work out. That's what God is here for. That's what our spirit guides and angels are here for. For us to make mistakes and for them to fix them. And the only way that you can, if you send or whatever, is you stop doing it and you heal yourself. Okay, so that the change can happen. It's more importantly, is to focus on you being rebirthed back into your empress, back onto your throne. <clears throat> Closing oracles, please. Here's the B spirit again. Victory over yourself. Starting over again, yes. Focus on storytelling and poetry, your knowledge, healing yourself. Partnership will then come in, okay? Here you are, Queen of Swords. This is the absolute truth, courage, and self-respect coming in. This is your responsibility to heal yourself, okay? Anything else? Yeah, this partnership they're saying was burdening you. 
So that's why you need to let it go. If something does that to you, you need to let see how it fell right on the right there. And then this fell right on the Empress. So you need to heal yourself, okay? Alrighty. Take care.